Hey, how's it going? Well, today I have my Sportsman ATV 500 and I'm having trouble with the brake master cylinder. It'll pump up, but if you hold it, it'll eventually go down to where there's no brakes. And you have to pump it real quick to make the brakes work. See, it just went down to nothing. So I'm thinking there's a leak in this master cylinder right here. You can see that it's wet there. You go focus on that. Anyway, there's probably a seal in there is gone. And uh, to get a seal kit from uh, Polaris is like 120 bucks to get a new one of these from Polaris. I don't even know. I didn't find out. Aftermarket, you know, they're about 75 bucks. Okay, so I'm taking the uh, bolt out of the old master cylinder. comes with a new bolt. Wow, great. Hopefully it fits. Okay. Put this in, tighten her up. I think this master cylinder was around 40, 45 bucks delivered. Got it in a couple of days, which is pretty good. Well, don't know how long it'll last. It is made overseas. Okay. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna. Okay, so I got the screws out. Let's see what it looks like inside. Okay. Well, looks a bit different, but uh, here's the here's the original one. All right. Okay, so I'm working on this uh, 05 with the master cylinder. It wasn't working. So I ordered some replacement seal kit. Finally got it. It took about a week and a half to get it. And uh, came with the piston and new seals. And I've... Uh, it's been ongoing this for three weeks now. I ordered a um, replacement master cylinder. But it didn't work, so I got it from Amazon, so I sent it back. And um, so now I'm going to replace the insides right in there, and hopefully that'll solve my problem. Because these things aren't that cheap. I know at Polaris, was, this was about 120 bucks, and that was just the seals. You didn't get the uh, other piece there. Okay, so I have the uh, new plunger and seals in there. I wasn't able to film it because it's pretty tricky to get that in there. So already, all I've done is uh, pump this up for a little while here, a couple minutes, and I can see there's the air was coming out, <clears throat> and it is building pressure, and that's without bleeding the brakes yet. So I have a feeling that it may be uh, going to work. Now, it wasn't easy getting that in there. I'll show you what I had to do. Here's the old uh, plunger. And it goes in this way. And um, to get this second seal in, I had to kind of ease it in with a screwdriver because it was tight. <clears throat> so maybe that's a good sign that the old one was worn out. But uh, it took a little while to get that in there <clears throat> without damaging it. And then there's a washer that goes on. Then I have to put this seal on it. So it's pretty tricky doing it by yourself. So anyway, I got it in there. And it feels not too bad already. So once I bleed the brakes, I'm sure it'll be a lot better. Looks like I got the air out of the master cylinder anyway. 
Okay, so I just finished uh, bleeding the brakes. I reverse bled them. So I bled them from the calipers up to the master cylinder. And see how it feels now. Got a pretty good uh, feel there. Pretty good pressure. And they seem to work. And it's holding pressure. Before, I would hold it like this, and a few seconds later, it would go down to the handlebar. So, it seems to be working. So, it's just a matter of replacing that seal. And the piston with the two seals on it. So, I think what I'm going to do now, I'm going to bleed the uh, <clears throat> foot brake. Which never seemed to work very good, so I'm going to... Okay, so now I'm gonna bleed the foot brakes. I'm gonna hook up my, uh, I have a syringe with brake fluid in it. So we're gonna back bleed the brakes. So we get all the air out, attach it to the bleed screw. I'm gonna open it. And just slowly push the brake fluid through. Oops, I gotta hang on to it. Okay, so now I'll give you a shot of the reservoir. Fluid should be coming up. Is it getting full? Yep. Let me know when it's... Okay, set. good. Okay, so that's... Okay, so that just about wraps it up for the brakes. I think I got them uh, bled out pretty good. Got good pressure on the handbrake. And the foot brake feels good.